guys welcome and welcome back to our youtube channel my name is sophia i'm an african basically from uganda but currently staying in india guys today's video i would love to talk to you guys about 10 reasons why i love india so guys so in case you're new to this youtube channel please consider subscribing and if at all it's not your first time here thank you so much for clicking please consider watching this video till the end there is something I would love to share with you at the end of the video. So guys, number one, the first reason why I love India is the culture. Guys, when it comes to culture, there are a lot of things uh, the modern world has forgotten, you know, in different parts of the world. But when it comes to India, these people still bring this thing they still put everything to consideration they still value whatsoever it was it feels like yesterday so that's my first reason why i love india i just feel like there is something a little bit we can copy from them when it comes to culture stuff how to behave with culture and how to feel with our culture like depending on where you're coming from Number two, guys, Indians are friendly. You get? I just love the way these people are friendly, guys. You feel at home. You always feel at home and welcomed. You know, I love hanging around Indian people because they're really good. And uh, according to my experience um, in India, I've, you know, challenges that. Here and there but when it comes to India there is a way people welcome you and you feel like you're already part of the family you get the point so I love that about India the third thing why I love India I love India because of the festivals you guys when it comes to festivals you can understand what I'm talking about there is always a reason for meeting up as family you get there is always a reason for family to get, gather and, you know, enjoy, have fun, spend time together, which makes it unique. Who wouldn't wish for that in their countries? So, in India, cal uh, what festivals are very many, guys. Festivals are very many, but I, I love the Diwali mostly. I love Diwali and Holi. Yeah. But because it's a lot of fun a lot like it's fun you get the fourth thing why i love india i love india because of um, the internet in india uh, wi-fi it's easy to access data is easy to access you know you can even get uh, data for the whole month at the cheapest price you know data unlimited data guys i'm talking about unlimited data so it's perfect you get to use internet anytime you want to use it at an affordable price you get the point so number five guys india is affordable india is affordable depending on how much you have and how much you spend you know um there is always something within your budget so guys um don't be afraid of coming to india thinking maybe india is expensive or this and this india is always affordable anything you can get which makes it so good because even a poor person can get something to eat a poor person can get a cloth how dope is that guys number six food when we talk about indian food you guys it's surprising that um at first i never used to love indian uh, like the food because i had not got the whole taste of it because the first time i tasted it it was so spicy guys and where i come from you guys know that we don't have spicy like food is normal just tomato onion and you know some little bit of ingredients and that's it done but when i came in india it was oh gosh everything is added all the masalas are added guys and i was like oh gosh i won't be able to have this food but with time i got used 
the, um, all the thanks goes to my husband. He helped me out in all these things because he used to tell me, try this, try this, and I ended up loving it. And now I eat the Indian spicy food willingly and with a lot of love. I love how these guys put in a lot of love while making this food. They put in a lot of love to the extent that the food is made so well, you can't resist from eating it. Uh, so guys, when it comes to Indian food, that's all I can tell you. But there, is, there are no words to explain what I'm trying to tell you guys. Maybe if at all I take you along with me, maybe to some hotel or restaurant and you try to see how this goes it really it's really so good i'm sorry about the sound uh, there is a building under construction near our place number seven is the transport transport system in india it's easily accessible because they have a lot of means there are there is the train uh cabs there are the buses um auto uh the bikes you get you can access anything anytime you want to go outside you just use your phone book it and it takes you where you want to go how dope is that guys it's so good and i love it number eight i love the indian clouds when i talk about indian clouds i talk about the saris you know uh, saris I just love how these women look good in saris they look so unique the eyes decent you get it makes me love the dress code I, since my childhood i used to love the indian saris i used to ask myself how would i look when i put on one but after putting it on i was like oh gosh it's a dream come true you really look so perfect well putting on such clothes so i love the indian attires i love the indian clothes i love oh gosh i don't know but it looks so good i really love it the nine thing my number nine reason why i love india it's my husband's home <laughs> it's my husband's home country so i'll definitely love it number reason why I love India it's religion in India most of the people think there is only the Hindu but no the Christians are there the Muslims are there and more other religions are there which makes it good I really love that about India because they get to bring in all these religions and they all believe in them you get okay it won't be like uh they be like the christians believing in the muslim religion and those things but they all believe in the same god you get it's really unique i love it yeah really guys when we are talking about god god is always supposed to be the first person to be talked about but why did i bring god last it's because i wanted to tell you more about his love for us god has always been there for us and there is nothing you can do without god and it succeeds you get every time you put god first in everything you do He'll always do a miracle in your life. He'll always protect you. He'll always be on your side. He'll send his angels to walk with you wherever you go. You get the point. So, in everything you do, please consider God the first. Thank you so much for watching this video. In case you loved it, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting and don't forget to always work hard and have good intentions 